Warden's Pacific Coast Canola Plant received its first train of canola seed. According to the Columbia Basin Railroad, 113 train cars of seed traveled 1,350 miles from the Northern Plains region of the U.S. to Warden late last week. The canola seed crushing plant started operating in January and began increasing production after receiving single rail cars of canola seed along with some truck deliveries. As the 2013 crop began to arrive in September, the volume going to the processing plant has steadily increased. Port of Warden Commissioner Dale Pomeroy stated, having the ability to now bring unit trains into Warden on the Columbia Basin Railroad line to service companies such as Pacific Coast Canola is helping to establish the Port of Warden as a key location in Eastern Washington to handle freight and it is pivotal for our economic development. The railroad reports 110 rail cars of canola seed will supply the plant for 10 days at full production. The plant can process 1,100 metric tons of canola seed per day. In Northwest News, Washington Governor Jay Inslee has given final approval to a package of tax incentives for Boeing. Inslee signed the legislation today at Seattle's Museum of Flight at Boeing Field. He says the incentives will help secure tens of thousands of jobs in the state for years to come as Boeing begins developing its new 777X jetliner. Lawmakers approved the legislation in just three days last week after Inslee called the legislature back to Olympia for a special ses session dedicated to Boeing. The bill extends Boeing's tax incentives all the way to 2040, and the benefits have a projected value of $9 billion. Boeing also says it needs an eight-year contract extension with union members, or the company will look to build the new model 777 elsewhere. Machinist union members vote Wednesday after the Seattle Times reported the president of the union denounced the contract. Gonzaga University has placed two students on probation for violating a weapons policy after one of them displayed a gun to drive off an intruder at their apartment. Seniors Eric Fagan and Daniel McIntosh were informed Sunday of the probation, which allows them to remain in the Washington State School. They had been facing expulsion. Both plan to appeal. The spokesman review reports a man came to their apartment door October 24th demanding money and trying to force his way inside. He left when McIntosh showed he had a pistol. Campus police later took the pistol and a shotgun belonging to Fagan. Gonzaga students are not allowed to have guns in university-owned housing. And that's going to do it for us here at iFiber News. We want to thank you for watching, and we'll see you again tomorrow.